Hello everyone and welcome to the video. The Medusa is a famous creature both in mythology and in D&D's monster manual, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to build your own Medusa themed character. To start with we have a tie between two different races. We can either pick the obvious choice, the Yuan-Ti, because they have plenty of snake aesthetic already, or we could pick the flavored choice, the Simic Hybrid. Now the Yuan-Ti, as I mentioned before, has this obvious snake aesthetic as well as some great enchantment spell options. But, the Simic Hybrid has an interesting feature that they get at 5th level, known as Grappling Appendage. What this feature allows us to do is gain two appendages that, as an action, we can use to grapple another creature, as well as even grab objects with. And now it says appendages, but what I'm reading is snake hair. Snake hair that can reach out and make attacks against enemies. But I will say though, going Simic Hybrid won't really give you much else to work with other than flavor. But if your DM is cool and chill, you could probably just ask your yuan -ti to have prehensile hair too. You have both race options to work with, and overall, both of them are great in their own ways. And no matter which you pick, it really won't affect how we build this character too much. Moving into the build itself, for our background, we should take Gruul Anarch. The reason for this is we get access to the spell Conjure Animals by taking this background. And this allows us to summon animals, and as you guessed it, we're going to use it to summon all kinds of snakes when we get access to the spell as we level up. In addition to this, we also get access to two other spells that will be strong options for our Medusa. First, we get the Speak with Animal spell, and we also get the Stone Skin spell. As a Medusa, you have the ability to turn people to stone, and I think it would be really cool if you had the ability to use this for your benefit too. Getting into leveling, you should put your highest stat into Intelligence, and then probably a tie for second place with either Constitution or Dexterity, but Intelligence should be your main focus. And we'll only be taking one class for this build in video, so no real multi-classing unless you want to at later levels. And what you'll want to do is go wizard and take enchantment as your subclass. And the reasoning for the subclass is that there are many different takes on the lore, but it's always said that the Medusa has always had eyes that can lock people in place. So we'll be going to the school of enchantment and this is where we'll be getting our hypnotic gaze feature. As an action, choose one creature that you can see within 5 feet of you. If the target can see or hear you, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw against your wizard spell save DC, or be charmed by you until the end of your next turn. The charmed creature's speed drops to zero, and the creature's incapacitated and visibly dazed. But in order to use your hypnotic gaze, you have to make sure that you spend an action on your turn to keep it in effect. But I also really like the roleplay aspect of this as well. It's basically saying, at lower levels, you have the ability to turn people into stone. It might be temporary, but it would be cool to describe how a creature locks eyes with you, and suddenly and uncontrollably, they lose the ability to move and process and just everything else literally turning them to stone with one single glance. This is a great crowd control effect because we can basically lock one creature in place and as long as we have this ability up and focused on that one character, they're not going anywhere. And moving up to our fourth level of wizard, we get our first ability score improvement. Now assuming we have at least a 17 in intelligence at this point, if we took something like standard array, we can either take two to our intelligence or we can take a feat instead. If you were to take a feat at this point, I would recommend taking the Fate Touched feat and take the spell Command or even something like Bane as well. Moving further along, you'll reach your second ASI at 8th level and this will cap your intelligence up to a 20. Moving along through the rest of the build, there isn't much else that we really need to be picking up and issues that we'd be getting and dealing with along the way. Make sure that you pick up as many poison and acid damaging spells that you can, as well as enchantment spells such as Charm Monster, Hold Person, Hold Monster, and Suggestion, as well as other mentions but your progression through wizard will continue on to level 11, where you'll pick up the spell Flesh to Stone to really bring everything together. Thanks to the spell Silvery Barbs, which I really recommend you pick up before this point, this can really make the spell Flesh to Stone more likely to succeed. So if a creature succeeds a saving throw to resist being turned to stone, you can just cast Silvery Barbs and force them to re-roll that saving throw, potentially turning them to stone much faster, and potentially making them fail the saving throw to be turned to stone in the first place. And for the most part, that's the build! You're a bit more of something like a Medusa-themed wizard, but the abilities you get with this build and the flavoring of it also fits well for what we're trying to do. The build itself doesn't really need too many levels. All it takes to pull this off successfully is to just go 11 levels of wizard. Whatever you want to do after that is really up to you. But personally, because of how strong wizard is at later levels, I would recommend continuing with that class as far as you can. And then going further with wizard in this build, you can pick up a lot of abilities that can grant you great crowd control as well as enchantment control options too. And this can make you a menace in combat as well as a great aid to your party members. So get out there and petrify your enemies. Make yourself a statue garden of all of your foes and enjoy the build. 
And if you did enjoy this video, then please consider liking the video and subscribing for even more D&D content.